The Trotters have reached the back stretch. And they are underway to open up the Breeders' Crown here. And it's a quick start for Autumn Escapade. She steps out there by about an neck. On the inside, Yursa Hanover is away well. She finds the pocket while Buckeye St. Pat manages a tuck there third past the eighth mile marker. Next up is Windsong Soprano. Single file back to Elusive Desire. Then it's Southwind Wasabi trotting sixth at the end of the field. Jersey AS. Autumn Escapade takes this field around the turn of the quarter in 27 and two fifths. And now Buckeye St. Pat makes her move on the outside for Tim Tietrick. Goes after the lead of Autumn Escapade who tries to string her out. And Buckeye St. Pat manages to clear at the 3 8 pole. Autumn Escapade now back in the pocket. And now it's Ron Pierce making a first over move for Winsong Soprano around that clubhouse turn. Inside fourth there, Yursa Hanover. Following cover, Elusive Desire. At the back, Southwind Wasabi and Jersey AS. They get to the half in 55-1. and 27 and 4 Second panel, scalding pace here up on the front end. Buckeye St. Pat has the lead by a length. On the outside, Windsong Soprano still hasn't been able to take over second. Holding out of the pocket there is Autumn Escapade. Yursa Hanover is fourth, only two lengths back, but she's buried on the inside. Second over fifth now is Elusive Desire. At the back there are Southwind Wasabi and Jersey AS. Buckeye St. Pat unchallenged on the back. Three quarters, 124 even. 28 and 4 on the back. Side. Up front, Buckeye St. Pat, the defending champ here, leads it by length. Autumn Escapade still working there in the pocket. Yursa Hanover is third at the top of the stretch. Now, teacher gas for more, and Buckeye St. Pat is responding. All out there, Autumn Escapade, but Buckeye St. Pat is trotting away. A mesmerizing performance by Buckeye St. Pat. She wins it by two full lengths and defends her crown. Autumn Escapade second, Yursa Hanover third, Buckeye St. Pat one fifty two and three fifths. That's a way to start things off. How about that Buckeye St. Pat defending her championship and looking awfully good coming down the lane. Took the move after the opening quarter. Tim Tietrich won at the front end, put the champion on the front end, and she delivers here this afternoon looking awfully good. Buckeye St. Pat defends her crown, Roger. How about that one? Make no doubt about it. Uh, 52 and 3, a, a fast one, but uh, not quite fast enough to get into the record brooks uh, here at uh, uh, Pocono, at least. Uh, track record's 52 and 1. But it will be, a, it will be a new trotting record, though, for the mayor, uh, Breeders' Crown record. Like I said, there. almost every race tonight <laughs> should be a, a record for the Breeders' Crown. And, and how about the great Peace Corps, who won four Breeders' Crown mm -hmm. events, had the track re well, had the Breeders' Crown record, 154 and 2 mm -hmm. over a 5 8 mile track, and now that's broken tonight, today by Buckeye St. Pat. Buckeye St. Pat and Tim Tietrich. Ladies and gentlemen, judges have posted the unofficial order of finish for this afternoon's first race. Number seven, Buckeye St. Pat finished first. Number five, Autumn Escapade finished second. Number three, Yursa Hanover finished third. Number four, Southwind Wasabi finished fourth. Unofficially, seven, five, four, seven, five, three, four, excuse me, in race number one. Presenting the trophy for this first race, Bobby Soper, our president and CEO here at Mohegan Sun of Pocono Downs, along with John Cashman, the chairman of the executive committee, committee for the Hamiltonian Society. And they'll be presenting the trophy to the seven, Buckeye St. Pat. She is a seven-year-old bay mare by Jailhouse Jesse out of Name It Something by Speed in Action, bred by R.R. R. Fuller of Ohio. Owned